الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد from some of the pearls of the salaf of this ummah like Abdullah bin Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنهم are some beautiful statements that we can benefit because the guidance comes from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. Al Shaykh Al Imam Al Allama Ibn Al Qayyum Rahimahullah Taala said, "There is nothing on the face of the earth that is more in need of being imprisoned for a lengthy period of time than the tongue." A man said to him, "Teach me some words that are concise and beneficial." So he said. Worship Allah and do not associate any partners with Him. Follow the Quran wherever it directs you. Whoever comes with the truth, accept it from Him, even if He was distant and hated you, and hated by you. And whoever comes with falsehood, then reject it, even if He was close and beloved to you. Be the springs of knowledge, the lamps of guidance, attached, bound to your homes, lights of the night, refreshers of the hearts. And the best or the cleanest of clothes, known in the heavens, unknown to those on earth. As long as you are in prayer, you are knocking at the door of a king, and whoever knocks at the door of a king, will have the door open for him. There will be a people at the end of times, called Anatan, constantly blaming one another, will be the best of their actions. If a person would like to be just to himself, let him treat others in the same way that he would like to be treated. So those are beautiful statements of the Salaf of this Ummah to give us guidance on how to treat others, how to be cautious about our tongue, about the statements that we utter, and how to not be a fitna and a trial for our brothers and sisters. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with tabat, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.